<clears throat> so we're gonna replace uh, front rotors and rear rotors on a Honda Odyssey 2011 and pretty much all Odysseys are with the same Honda's two pilots so we got the caliper here we got two 14s for the caliper one here and one here on the bottom right here so get your ratchet and It, break it loose and get the one in the bottom as well. Okay, that's right there, kind of hidden. out and your caliper should be able to slide okay. just place it on the top I'm gonna get my punchy core a little bit and wrap it around on the spring and the shock and struts so right here in the back we have um i do believe it's uh 18 19 and if you have one of those power tools just use that use it Sometimes uh, the balls are very stuck on there, so you can uh, even <laughs> if your uh, power tool doesn't break loose, just use a cheater, cheater pipe and then put your ratchet there. Uh, the ball, uh, stock number is 19 millimeters. And there you go. than the ones that hold the caliper so and they're the same for the one on the top on the bottom so after that you should be able to pull out your bracket right there so here's your bracket with your pads it has those uh, springs holding down the the pads so you just pull them out like that right here 
here, so this is for the for the inner one. That's for the for your sensor, and the other one has doesn't have the little metal. So let's remove all this and then clean it with brick cleaner. We have some uh, brushes so you can brush it around and wipe it and we're gonna grease these uh, boots and the pins too so okay so here is the caliper by itself so all you need to do is remove this little screw Holding the rotor and then it should be coming out. So we're gonna remove the bolt. A lot of times you can just use a Phillips uh, uh, screwdriver, but in this case I'm gonna use uh, my tool, the puncher. Just in there. And just. Side, don't lose it. Uh, uh, it should be coming out. There you go. So you should roll Crap the rotors from Honda. So just spray, spray all over here. All around here, clean it with a little brush, all in the back where the brush is gonna go. Uh, clean your caliper inside the boots, the pistons. Just, uh, just put a bunch of coal right there. So we can form my caliper for now. I'm gonna clean this part and, and the bracket, and then my my pistons, my caliper. So it's about to compress the pistons. Before compressing the pistons, uh, uh, make sure you clean here. So there's no debris going inside the uh, piston housing. <clears throat> Put your pads right there, the old ones. And just uh, because this is the uh, dual double piston, so you can just do a little bit at a time on each side. So they go evenly. And then just sweep a little bit and then so sweep, uh, switch it to the other side. Spray some degreaser uh, here, so then so basically uh, doing a great job 
what it takes the most time uh, is the cleaning and prepping because like most of the time uh, your calipers, your boots, uh, your brackets, everything is just like soaked in grease and gunk so you have to kind of spend a lot of time cleaning all the surfaces but the, all the hardware and uh, pads are gonna be seated on and you break so you have to be kind of patient and do a lot of cleaning around by the way you can wear a mask because this not with this uh, debris dust going into your lungs Trust me, a lot of people when they do brick jobs, they don't even care about cleaning so much. And guess what? In time, all the work is gonna go down to the drain because all the dust and the grease has, is <coughs> it's gonna go into your uh, brake system. No brake system, but like pads and boots and piston so let me finish doing this and I'll show you when this is done my bracket I already cleaned my bracket where all my hardware is gonna go you don't have to go like all crazy on the the bracket just playing really nice what the hardware is gonna sit on and we should be fine <coughs> so we had the, uh, the caliper bracket right here all clean I took out the old hardware the old ones uh, a little bit slightly different but I I like better the new ones because the new ones have a little uh, clip right here where you your brakes are gonna your pads are gonna slide in right there the old ones they don't have it they just sit flat <clears throat> but the rest of it the uh, the shape is the same all this here and this has to clear here on the bottom so both are the same so I'm gonna install the new new one here. So this part right here, this little you can see a shape right there. You check uh, this right there. So you cannot go wrong because this flat part is where the brake pads are gonna sit. Once you have both uh, ready to go, the next thing is going to be our rotor. Okay. <clears throat> so on your, on your bracket, you have the boots for the, uh, for the pins. So you have to cut this, this uh, sliding pin and the boot if you can to clean inside the where the uh, sliding pin goes so like I did on this side you have to do both sides so clean inside there is a um, a grease inside the like dried uh, grease and uh, that's gonna that's gonna affect your uh, sliding pins uh, sliding like in and out so you have to be make sure it's clean inside and I have my my slider pin right here and also I have the boot right here too so the boot goes inside right here 
see if it's lit up in right there. A little uh, thicker part goes right here inside, and then you you uh, you sliding pin right there. But before installing your uh, your boot, you have to make sure you clean it inside as well. And uh, you slide it uh, pin. You have to grease it too. Go and use a uh, special grease. No, it's not your regular grease. Right there, the brand that I use, synthetic. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna put my boot first. When you take it out, just be very cautious. You don't want to rip it off. If you do, you have to go buy a new one. There we go. Right there. <clears throat> and then just light and paint right there. Grease already and clean. Go slowly so you don't get any trap air inside. There we go. And if you do, just pop the air a little bit out. There we go. Right there, you see. There we go. So this is my. Do the same thing on the other one. And then you should be ready to put your rotor and your uh, bracket on. So we compare uh, your rotor with the old one. Uh, so this is front, right, which is passenger side. Always ready to bring your photos. Ah. So, oh, you see that little pin right there, little hole right there. That's for the for the. For the for the that's for your little um, screw that is gonna be holding the the rotor. So it has two. Some cars they have two. This one has one. So yes, make sure it matches the hole so you can put your. Um, Go there to hold the the rotor. These things are coated with something, so then once you start breaking, it's gonna uh, break in this thing right here. There you go. So, the bracket, I fixed this pin already, so this is how you, uh, you it should look like. one right here so hardware is good to go so 
caliper is nice and shiny and clean once you put your rotor put your brake bracket on over and secure with the propulsor on the top bottom untie them both okay. just we got your bracket so then it sits evenly and then at this point just Torque to uh, specifications. I'm gonna put on the uh, on description of the torques. And from here, just put your pads and your caliper. You should be pretty much done. So make sure um, the little metal <coughs> bracket right here on the pad goes inside on the inside of the, your rotor. That's the front. And it goes towards the back and the other pair is for, for the driver side so don't mix them up they're not the same so my preference I put a little bit of um, brake uh, this brake quiet so then where we see the caliper right there on top of the backing plate so, so I think it's uh, it's better to put it, to put it on. Okay, guys. So I'm, I'm putting a little bit of uh, this product right here for where the caliper sits. So and also uh, before putting your pads, uh, clean it with spray bra uh, brake cleaner. And um, I'm gonna put a little bit of grease here. Right there. Recommended to put it on so then then also you can put a little bit here. Just tiny bit right there. Right there. So do the same thing on like I did the other side already. So just line up your your pad with your It's a little bit tricky this one because it has a little lip right there. You have to kind of like press that way. Uh, comparing to the OEM that they don't have this thing right here, but this one secures better uh, your brake pads right there. It's this little lip right there, right there on the bottom. So make sure they both are 
uh, lash clean a little bit of your mess and <clears throat> put your pins right here new ones right there and another one right here on the bottom right there Oops. So then you see your caliper on top of this, right there. So make sure they're both flash, which they are now. So now time to put the caliper on. Let me see if I can catch. Caliper is compressed already. I'm gonna undo this. Okay, so grab your two bolts for the calipers. Just I push him in. One is in. Put your bolt right here on the top. There you go. One is in. Let me see if I can show you right here on the bottom. This is where my finger is. Your pin right there. And then, voila, torque them. Uh, this one cost for 37 uh, foot pounds for the caliper. And from the for the bracket right here on the back is uh, 101 uh, foot pounds. Then, um, at this point, guys, I'm pretty much done with the front right uh, brake um, job. So I'll just do the same thing on the left side too as well. So everything is done. So some people they choose not to put uh, this break quiet. So my choice is always to put a little bit of what the brackets uh, sits on top of the pad so then uh, just to make sure there's no squeaks or any kind of noise so 37 pounds for the both for the caliper and for the bracket does uh, 101 foot pounds so everything looks nice so this is done so the uh, driver size next and then the ones on the back so let me know if you guys if you have any questions so I'm working on the driver side now I'm pretty much done so it's pretty much the same thing it's exactly the same thing on the other side I already show you so one thing that I kind of skip to show you is just you need a wrench right here for the nut to hold it so it, when you tighten it it doesn't spin so uh, 37 pounds and for the bracket 101 foot pounds all right guys so once you're done just come down here and the brake pedal just uh, 
step a few times so the piston retracts to its normal position and we're done with we'll the front brake chop so pretty much you need a couple of tools you don't need that much you need a, a, seven, a 19 millimeters and for the caliper you need a I believe it's a 14, yeah, 14. So, and a couple of wrenches, uh, breaker bars. Not breaker bars, but like cheater bars, whatever you wanna call it, yeah. 